Welcome back. You are watching KUTV News at 9. Many thanks for choosing to stay with us. Now, let, let us take a look at developments in technology. And ever since we have been able to create visual representations of our own or other worlds, mankind has been fascinated by transferring the sensory perception into this world. It is in the recent years that technological advancements have made it possible to do this in the ever-increasing realistic and engaging ways. Therefore, today on Matters Technology, we feature vir uh, virtual reality technology and its importance to mankind. Samson Jura brings us more. The concept of virtual reality is not a new one. It has been around for quite a long time. Perhaps mixed reality will be the next big thing, but I will leave that up to the tech enthusiasts to decide. Currently, the most popular application for VR is video games. There are a lot of games with the VR support on the market already, and more are getting released almost every day. Shooting games and simulators seem to be an exceptional match for the platform. Although mostly used for gaming purposes, a VR headset can also be used for viewing 360 scenes and videos. Thanks to head tracking, the viewer's perspective is adjusted automatically when the head is moved. There are very few companies that push for the advancement of the technology in the country. Given that aside from the revolutionizing of the gaming industry, it also comes in hand in education, medical and aviation sector. And one of these companies goes by the name of Black Rhino VR, which was established in 2015. I had a conversation with Brian Afande, one of the co-founders of the company. Virtual reality has been able to prove its importance in the education sector, and with the Kenyan government keen on rolling out the competency-based curriculum, Black Rhino VR company has jumped on the opportunity to sell the idea of the use of VR. I think virtual reality is one of the most relevant tools for education and medicine. We carried out a campaign whereby we went to Kibera and put on headsets on just seemingly normal children in Kibera. For them to go through, did you know that some guys live there and have never seen wild animals? And we put headsets through them and they went through a whole wildlife experience. And we took some of them to London. They would wear the headsets and be in London and be in the States. And you know you broaden someone's horizons. That aside, Charles Muchiri, an immersive production specialist at Black Rhino VR, tells us how the technology works. So in front of us we have a, a couple of VR solutions. So we have the standalones whereby you don't need any computing power, uh, such as the cardboard, we have the Samsung gear, and we have the Oculus Go, which they are all standalone. Here we have the Oculus Rift whereby this is different because you need a uh, high computing power. That's why we opt to use um, high-end gaming uh, computers such as this. Charles also explains how they come up with the content suitable for consumption via VR and the process of production phase at Black Rhino. So when it comes to uh, shooting content in VR, um, the principles that you're used to when uh, shooting the uh, linear stuff, we call the 2D videos, we call them linear. When you're used to shooting linear, it's a bit, not a bit, but kind of different when you're doing it in VR. Because you need to, first of all, you need to understand that you are shooting everything in a particular space, meaning uh, you can't have a cameraman behind like the way we have now. So when you set up your camera, first you need to run. And then you are placing the camera, you need to understand. Because where the camera is, that's where the person with the headset will be. So those are the kind of uh, pointers you need to note before you go and start shooting a VR piece. In the past, practical explanation of theories was hard, but now with the help of immersive technology and virtual reality, this has been made easy. Let's take in the aviation industry, training pilots has been a little bit easier since the advent of this technology, and trainers can use this during their flight lessons. Speed correction. I believe that virtual reality for education and also gaming, not just gaming for recreational purposes or fun, but also gaming for education.
imagine students learning about the planet. We did, uh, we did a small project with the Netherlands Society School. It's a private school, however, we did a shoot where we were taking students there through the whole um, uh, space experience and they were inside a spaceship and they would go to different planets like Uranus, Saturn and they would see, they would feel like they're astronauts inside those planets and it was very unforgettable. In the medical field, virtual reality gives one a rough idea of what happens in the surgical room, just as demonstrated here. Well, is the quality of the surgery. Now I'm going to not... Though not completely accurate, this simulation gives room for one to make all the possible mistakes and go through the best possible ways of conducting a particular surgical procedure. The film and gaming industry have been able to properly define how the technology works and here at Black Rhino VR, young people with creative minds and computing skill set have been able to introduce the Kenyan public to a whole new space. We set up the company based on the fact that we wanted to create something that does not exist in the market, something that was new, something that was refreshing and also something that we wanted to have some form of um, some form of autonomy to do what we want, whether or not it's within the creative freedom, uh, whether or not it's within the financial spectrum of doing things. We all just wanted to have freedom to create something that no one else is creating. As Black Rhino, we're trying to demystify and democratize the tech, okay, which means that slowly we're trying to understand how consumers can use it in their homes to how corporates can use it to give marketing solutions <clears throat> in their companies. Black Rhino VR became the only African company out of 700 to work with Oculus, an international company that deals with VR in a VR for Good project that creators love from Oculus pairs rising filmmakers with non-profits to use the power of VR to tell stories and help people around the world better understand each other. And with projects like this, immersive technology will be made better and become a primary tool in our daily lives. Virtual reality technology has landed in the country at a time whereby the government is seeking to roll out the competency-based curriculum and we have seen that in years to come VR will be helpful when the CBC takes shape and aside from revolutionizing the gaming and film industry, VR can also be used in medical simulations and aviation industry. Samson Jura, KUTV, Nairobi.